Hello. How are you? Yeah, you can go ahead and just take a seat anywhere you'd like. Um, you are here for the conference, correct? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I just wanted to go over some you know, strengths and some concerns with your student today. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming in. It's so nice to see you again. Um, before we get started, did you have any, sorry, there's something on my lip. Did you have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to go over this, and then um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And um, it shouldn't take too long, but see so I'm just gonna go over strengths and then kind of some of the test results ways that you can help at home and let's see we'll go over a self-evaluation that your child did so I've got it up here I've got to find yours So just some strengths of your child are um, always asks for help if they have questions, comes prepared, comes to class on time, completes homework. Do you ever help with the homework? Okay, great, great. Yeah, I can tell um, the work is done very well. <laughs> Demonstrates self-control, does well on tests follows directions, gets along with others, gives best effort, is very respectful, participates in class, solves problems independently, thinks creatively, accepts responsibility as well. And then some just concerns I have. Um, just making sure that, you know, paying attention always, focusing and listening sometimes can get a little bit distracted. And then speaking at appropriate times. Yes. So just making sure that, you know, we're talking when we're supposed to be talking. I'm going to go through some of those tests. So on chapter one, got a 90 out of 100. See, chapter two. We've only done four chapters so far, so chapter two was a 87 out of 100. Chapter three was 88 out of 100. And chapter four, we just took, um, it got 92 out of 100. So, no concerns with the grades. Um, and on the state test. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of those results. And um, it looks like your child was scoring in the 92nd percentile. So better than 92% of students at that age. So 92nd percentile. And it looks like at the end of last year they were scoring in the 88th percentile, so pr still pretty high, but they bumped themselves up, um, so that's great. Doing very well. You must help a lot at home. But yeah, you do. I can really tell. Um, <laughs> does your wife ever help? No? <laughs> yeah, well, you must be a great um, helper at home. Um, so yeah, just ways to help at home. I would just say keep um, helping with homework, talking about what we're talking about in class. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all. So your child did a self-evaluation on how they feel that they do in class. So I followed directions the first time. They gave themselves a four out of four. 
I'm respectful of others. They gave themselves a four out of four. I stay on task and complete my work, which is four out of four. I do my best and have a positive attitude, four out of four. My work is neat and organized, four out of four. I demonstrate self-control, they said three out of four, and they wrote a little note saying just talking when you're not supposed to be, which I agree, I think that was an honest review. <laughs> um, I participate in class every day, four out of four. I'm a good friend to others, four out of four, and I complete homework, four out of four. So everything looks really good, um, but I just wanted to go over some ways to help your child at home. And I noticed that since we are in chapter five, your child is having a little bit of difficulty with this chapter. So what I was thinking, um, if you're okay with this, you could maybe come to my house on Saturdays with your child and you know maybe we could work on the chapter together if you would be interested in that yeah yeah so you should come and um, definitely bring your child but we can you know kind of talk about what chapter five entails that way you know you can keep your child's grades up yes <laughs> okay, so um, yeah do you want to schedule that now let me open up my calendar so I'm free on Saturdays, um, usually after like, 7 o'clock, I usually do. Um, I'm pretty busy in the mornings. Would that work for you? Around 7? Okay, I'm going to add that. New event. Okay, so 7 o'clock p.m. And we can end it whenever you want. Um, but I would love to, you know, be able to help you, um, help your child. Um, so that's great that you're able to do that. I think it's fantastic. Um, let's see. Okay. And could you do every Saturday? Yeah. And, um, will you be joining? Yes. Okay, great. Um. Yeah, I really wanted you to come. Um, I've been noticing you a lot outside when you pick um, your child up. All the teachers do. <laughs> um, because, you know, you're so cute. Um, but yeah, if you would want to, maybe come on Saturdays and just bring your child's math textbook. And we can kind of go over some of the material together. And then if, you know, your child finishes, if you want to stay and we could hang out, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think what else. Uh -huh. I've got some other notes for you as well. Let me see here. Okay. I just like to make um, okay. So, okay, I've got the notes here that I was going to share. Sorry, you kind of distracted me. Um, just ways to help your child at home. Making sure that your child gets 8 to 10 hours of sleep. It's very important. A nutritious breakfast. Before school, do you um, make breakfast at all? Mm -hmm. Great. Eat dinner together. Talk about the day. Um... Making sure that your child is reading and, you know, talking about the books. Maybe you could read a book together. Um, checking out books from the library. 
going to museums, bookstores, discovery centers, aquariums, gardens, um, things like that, you know, baking together. So kind of just family time, talking to each other, um, playing board games, playing cards, exploring sports scores and statistics, and the newspaper online, things like that. And then I have a list of websites and apps that we use in the classroom, so I am going to bring that to you um, so you can take it home. These are all websites that I approve. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those, and I'm going to bring that to you, okay? So these... So those papers are just for um, the websites and tricks that you can use at home to help your child. And then I also, um, I'm going to send home chapter one, two, three, and four tests since I already have those in the grade book. So you can take those home and kind of just see, you know, how your child did. Um, obviously very well, so I'm not concerned with that, but I do like to send home the test at conferences. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those too, okay? Do you have um, any other questions for me that you're wondering? No? Okay, well, um, like I said, come over on Saturday and um, we can have some fun and help your child learn, okay? <laughs> yes, well, thank you for coming in today. Um, say hello to your wife. And I'll see you on Saturday.